we grow this crop of grass here for our cows, our dairy cows. We uh, harvest it five times a year. This is high quality grass feed that we got here, Turn, turns into milk. We've, we've always kind of been about the next level of, of automation and what we can do to be more efficient on our farms. And then when I saw this thing and how it applied and saw that you'd have very little drift and evaporation, it looked like a real win that way. It was something that the conservation district really stuck up for too. And so without their help, it would have been really hard to to get this project done. The conservation district has a huge interest in irrigation efficiencies. Um, as a conservation district, we work to kind of help all the land owners and operators with any natural resource concerns. You know, farmers, they have the pulse on kind of what's new and what's exciting. So we were pretty excited when, when we got the message that they were interested in bringing something like this to the county. It's a 360, um, 360 rain, uh, comes from 360 Yield Center. It's an autonomous reel irrigator, pretty much, with uh, 3,000 feet of hose on it. Um, and the beauty of this machine is its ability to do odd-shaped fields. And there's nothing more odd than this shaped field, because you have a house in the middle, a barn over there, a lagoon over here. That's what this machine is designed to do. So this machine's been running for a few months now, and we, uh, we're seeing a lot better crop yields. Uh, our grass crops have been more luscious green and the corn stand is just level. There's no dry spots. You can see in the background here, it's getting right to the plant where it needs it. So the main reason for the 360 was managing the water more efficiently. Previously, we used uh, traveler irrigation reels. The main thing is like today, there's a little bit of a breeze going on. Um, you start up the big gun sprinkler and there's a breeze and you, you watch your water just blowing away. And if you look at the 360, it has uh, those drops on there. It's, it's about a foot and a half off the ground and you don't see, you don't see any of that water blowing away. It's going, it's going where it needs to be. It's efficient because it keeps the water down low to the grass and it keeps the particles big. So even on a day like today where there's like a 10 mile per hour wind, there's no water getting blown away. It's all hitting the ground. And you're working with about a 95% efficiency of application. A big gun is around 50 to 60% efficient. So you're, you're almost doubling your efficiency and making sure that all the water that you pull out of the ground is being used for your plants. So that's the goal here is that farmers around the county will see how good these work, how tall the corn is, what the yields are, and they'll see that this is a great way to decrease water use and increase productivity at the same time. So we want to make sure that we have the best use of the water that we have, that we are pulling out of the ground. I think it's a technology that's going to fit in well for the farming practices, especially here in Whatcom County. I'm really impressed with, with how our crops look from using the 360 in there. This is a win, a win-win for the environment, um, conserving water, and, and a win for the farmer is, is uh, getting better crops, better yields. The water is getting where it needs to be and the, the crops can take it up 